for today's video, I'm gonna do a comparison between my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26. This is in the monogram from the World Tour collection. And I also have here my Pochette Voyage MM in the monogram eclipse print. And I will also throw in the punch my Chanel O-case in the large size. This has the caviar leather with the ruthenium hardware. I actually use all of these as clutches. I will try to cover everything that I can with regards to these items. They all are very similar but kind of different in some ways also. So yeah, um, in the end of this video, I will also throw in some modeling shots of these items. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so let's move on to the comparison video. All right, so first things first are the measurements. These two pouches are very similar in size, but they have slightly different measurements. So for the toiletry pouch 26, the length goes by 10 inches across, 7.5 inches in height, and 2.3 inches in width. So, for the Pochette Voyage, um, we have 10.7 inches in length, we have 8 inches in height, and 2.4 inches in width. Now, for this. Now, for the Chanel O case, this is the largest from the bunch. So, the measurements are 13.5 inches across in length. Height is 9 inches and then the width is about 0.7 inches. So let's compare these two first. So both of them are made with coated canvas. This one is in the classic monogram print and this one is the in the monogram eclipse print. So there are just some minor details that differentiate each one from the other. So first thing is this one. So in the toiletry pouch 26, you will see that it just have this pochetta leather on the end of the zipper. And then for the pochette voyage one, it has this leather tab with a grommet. So if you have like a bag charm and you would like to like give it some oomph, you can attach it here. And then another difference is that the hardware. So for the toiletry pouch 26, um, it is in the gold hardware. And for the monogram eclipse print, it is in the shiny gunmetal hardware. And you can see that the zipper is very different. For the toiletry pouch 26, the zipper is small. And then for the Pochette Voyage, it is gigantic. <laughs> and also for the teeth of the zipper, this one is bigger. Then another thing that I would like to point out is the bottom. So for the Pochette Voyage, it has like a base. It's slightly stiff compared to the toiletry pouch one, which doesn't have any base at all. It's just canvas. So if you put both of them on a table, this will stand on itself. Whereas this one, depending on what is inside, um, it may or may not stand on its own. And then lastly, the toiletry pouch 26. This has a wipeable interior and it doesn't have any pockets whatsoever. Comparing to the Pochette Voyage, which is lined with a cotton lining and it has one slip pocket right there in the back wall and then you also have um, six credit card slots so that's the slip pocket and then on front of that cough leather you have six credit card slots there. So with the Chanel O case, this is just how it looks like. It's the boy version. And then on the back, there's no pocket. And then 
On the inside, it is just lined with uh, nylon type of material and it also has some puffings inside. I would say it, it feels like it has foam inside. It's very similar to the winter, like the poofy jackets that you wear during winter time. So yeah, it's this one is just one big compartment. So I've written down some points that is worth mentioning for all these three pouches. So the first one is that all of these pouches fits a lot, but I would say that this one fits a lot more even though the depth or the width of this one is barely an inch just because it is um, longer and since it is leather it has a lot of give it stretches um, it's very you know it's very soft and if you fill it up it will still stay its sleek shape but you can put a lot inside and another thing is that the Chanel O'Case fits documents if you are um, thinking of using this as a work clutch maybe um, or a document pouch you can definitely use this um, I have here a bunch of papers this is just the letter size I think it's 8 by 11 so you can put it comfortably inside without folding it Another thing is that all of these pouches actually fit an iPad mini. I just have my iPad mini. I don't have the regular size iPad. This fits inside all of these pouches. For the uh, Pochette Voyage, you can definitely fit it inside. And of course, you can also fit it inside the toiletry pouch 26 fits comfortably inside as well. Another thing is that all of these pouches fits a regular long wallet, like the standard size. So I have here my Emily wallet. It also fits inside all of the pouches. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Like you can see, there is still a lot of room left for your other things. So when it comes to cleaning, both the toiletry pouch 26 and the OKs has a wipeable interior. But I would say that this one is safer to use as a toiletry bag as the name says it. Because since it has a wipeable material, it is made of canvas and Louis Vuitton canvases are very durable. Um, it will last you for decades, so I wouldn't worry about this one getting wet. Whereas the OKs, um, yes, it has a wipeable interior, but the outside or the exterior is made of leather. So as you know, leather tends to soak up oils and liquids. So I do not recommend using this as a toiletry bag. So I also have some other things here that I wanted to show you that can fit inside these pouches. So I have my mini pochette. Um, this one fits comfortably inside the toiletry pouch 26 as well. And of course, it will also fit in the pochette voyage. And of course, in the Chanel O-Case. And then I also have uh, my toiletry pouch 19 and my favorite MM. Let's see if this will fit. Um, the favorite MM will not fit in here at all because of the pleatings on the sides. It will not fit. <laughs> but the toiletry pouch 19 will surely fit inside if you need to have like organization or whatever um, if you fit it inside you well it takes up a lot of space but you can still put here like your cell phone or maybe a small wallet or a card case 
So in the pochette voyage, of course, it will fit the same as with the toiletry 26. So it fits and you still have room for your cell phone and maybe you don't have to use your wallet because you have these card slots right here. And in the O case, it will surely fit also. And that is just how it looks like on this side when you have the toiletry 19 inside. It doesn't look very bulky at all. So let's try putting the favorite MM in the Tammy Iben print here in the O case if it will fit. It fits because of the leg. So that's how it looks like with the favorite MM inside. And if you close it, it just looks like so. So if you have the Eva clutch or maybe the pochette accessoire, um, this, those will definitely fit inside the okay. So in terms of using any of these as a clutch, you can definitely do that. But between the three, um, if you wanted like some organization or if you don't carry a wallet with you, I would definitely recommend the Pochette Voyage just because it has a slip pocket right there and um, credit card slots. So in the slip pocket, I would just like to show you that uh, Samsung Note 4 fits inside there. Um, this is, I think the size is comparable to the iPhone 6s Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus as well. So I have it with the case on and it fits inside that um, pocket. And another thing that I would like to point out is that um, the Pochette Voyage MM and the Toiletry Pouch 26 can be transformed into a bag. So, um, I've seen a lot of pictures on Instagram and also some videos here on YouTube wherein they put a chain to use it as a shoulder bag and also as a crossbody bag. So, I have here um, just a silver chain with hooks on both ends. So, that's how it looks like. So you can do this on both the Pochette Voyage MM and the Toiletry Pouch 26 because it has a space here where the zipper ends that you can insert the chain and then put it inside the bag so that when you do that, you will have a chain where you can use it as a shoulder bag and if you have purchased a longer strap you can also use it as a crossbody one this method is not possible with the Chanel O case just because the O case doesn't have that um, hole or space right there wherein you can insert a chain so the only thing that you can do is maybe purchase this one this is like a wristlet or wrist chain it has a hook on one side and then it is just a loop like that so you can attach it to the zipper pull so you can see it has a loop right there you can attach it there and then you have a chain that you can put it on your wrist and then just carry the bag like that but I wouldn't suggest letting it dangle on your wrist like that because if you have things inside, it will stress out this loop right here, which is really thin. So it's really thin and you might end up like damaging it. So this is just like um, maybe uh, an added security. Alright, so when it comes to carrying it, all of them are quite easy to carry. Just because of the size, you have like ample room to hold it like this securely. But when I have to choose between the three, I would definitely choose the O case. Just because this one is longer compared to the 
Pochette Voyage MM in the Toiletry Pouch 26. As you can see, it is quite short comparing to the O case. And if you put your stuff inside, it is actually easier to carry. It's not co very comfortable to carry when you don't have a lot of things inside. Like if you just have your cell phone and your wallet inside, like so, you still have this space right here. If you hold it right here, it will tend to flop just because the leather is very soft. So I highly suggest that when you use the O clutch, you, you well don't fill it up to the brim, but you know um, put some solid things inside. Um, you have to arrange it so that you can maximize the space, and then with that you will have something to hold on to. So in terms of longevity between the three, I would definitely choose the canvas ones, just because the Louis Vuitton canvas is very durable like it will last you decades and decades the worst thing that you can have is the fading of the print or maybe some holes on the corners but that won't happen within like one year or two years of use so the canvas wins in terms of longevity whereas if you choose the leather one it does age over time and it is more prone to scratches and scuffs so your corners will have scuffs if you use this like every day of the week of the month of the year um, it will definitely show a lot of wear comparing to the canvas ones all right so those are the things that i would like to point out between those three um, pouches now it all depends on what you would use it for if you are looking for something that is very versatile um, like you can use as a toiletry bag you can use as a makeup bag and then you can also use as a clutch I would definitely choose the toiletry pouch 26 if you already have like a toiletry bag in your collection and you want it to just purchase a clutch i would definitely choose the chanel okays now this is more expensive than the two from louis vuitton but i definitely think that it is worth every penny it is so stunning and the functionality of this is amazing like i didn't even expect it to be like that but you can fit a lot so yeah that's it guys please stay tuned for the modeling shots and of course, if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Instagram at Personal Obsession. Have a great day, guys, and take care. Bye!